Hello, everybody. It's Wrestling Wednesday. Welcome back. It's that time again, that time of the week where we all get together and just beat the hell out of each other. And it's glorious and it's wonderful. And we have a very special show for you today. Because today, we find out what next week is going to look like. Now, you might say, well, that makes next week sound really important. What's so special about today? What if I told you today was Frog Wrestling's first ever Royal Rumble match? You know you know, and if you know you're excited, I know I'm excited. We have three big matches for you tonight. Uh, The ones we talked about is obviously the Royal Rumble, our main event, That's going to determine the number one contender for Scott Johnson's Frog Pants Championship, his first ever title defense, because next week, every single title is going to be on the line. It's going to be a huge night. Scott's going to be defending that. Uh, We're going to be defending the tag TMS tag titles. I'm going to be defending the Dragon Beef Championship. And maybe just maybe we'll have a women's champion crowned. So that's going to be next week, but we got to figure out who the players are going to be. That's this week. So in addition to that Royal Rumble, we're also going to have a women's triple threat match. And here's the news. We have breaking news. I know a lot of you have seen the exhibition matches leading up to this week. We've been trying to determine who the number one contender was going to be. And you say, well, John, if you're doing a Royal Rumble to determine the number one contender, then what the hell was the point of all those exhibition matches? What good did it do? Well, it did do some good because our Royal Rumble entrance. Number one, the the low number one, the dreaded number one and the much sought after number 10 position are based on win rates within frog wrestling. And currently with our lowest win rate, Kyle Ferguson, uh, he has sadly lost more matches than any other wrestler in the division, more heart than most. Sadly, not showing it in the ring. And you know, people are going to say bias. I understand Uh, The highest win rate in the league is actually Scott, but he's not participating in the Rumble. So it goes to the second highest win rate. Just me. But because people are going to scream, that's unfair. That's not fair. I don't agree. Kyle's got so much heart. How can you do this, John? Rigged, I tell you. I have extended an offer to Kyle. And he has taken it. Our opening match tonight is going to be Kyle Ferguson. Before he enters the Royal Rumble later tonight, he is going to challenge Scott Johnson. Because he's willing to wrestle twice in one night, I'm going to, at the very least, let him enter at a random spot. But if he can beat Scott Johnson right now tonight... Not only will he not be coming in at number one, I will give him my number 10 entry slot for the Royal Rumble. Which naturally brings us to our first match of the evening. Let's get to it. I'm going to start the prediction up right now. Kyle versus Scott Johnson. Let's do it. Get those bids in. We're going to do it. We're going to do it right now. Here it is, the match that was promised. We are, uh, we're going to see, we're going to see how much heart Kyle has. He's in the chat. Wish him luck. He's going to need it. He's going up against Scott. He's the champion for a reason. Oh man, I've got my camera in the wrong spot again. This is going to be another stream where I spend the first couple matches trying to figure out where my camera should go. We'll get there though. Don't worry about it. All right. 
Ladies and gentlemen, let's get to our first match. Out first, Kyle. I was shocked to learn that he hadn't done better in the ring. He's a dominant force. He certainly makes his opponents feel it. And he is going to challenge our champion for an opportunity. Wishing Kyle a lot of luck, a lot of support behind him. Let's see how, uh, let's see how the votes are going so far. The competition level has never been higher, but this guy's ready to prove he can hang. Right now, points favoring Kyle. Definitely a fan favorite around here. He's ready to go. He's ready for his opportunity. A chance to knock me down, too. But he is going up against Scott Johnson. One half of the TMS Tag Champions, the Frog Pants Champion himself. Won our main event last night, or last week, feels like it was last night, uh, against the WWE, kicking him out with the rest of the core boys. Ah, Johnson, known jorts wearer himself. See what he can do. Kyle's hungry. There can be no doubt. Kyle wants it more. But is Scott gonna let him? Scott starting out with a strong offense, treating it like it's business, immediately going after that arm. Kyle well known for his power, but Scott showing a little power of his own. Uh, with a counter, turning the momentum, seeing if he can build something. The fans are definitely behind him. He's got Scott up. And again, showing that power. <laughs> Hard to believe that's the same guy who screams like a rooster while playing Resident Evil. Indeed. Indeed, it's the very same man. And Kyle goes for an early pin, looking to secure this early. Looking for a way to guarantee his spot. And it's a good strategy, too. Kyle knows no matter what, he's fighting twice tonight. Scott gets out of the ring. Elbow to the back, throws Scott against the ropes. Elbow to the front. Kyle throwing elbows. Scott with a reversal. Oh, and Scott showing some heavy aggression, but Kyle with another reversal in the corner. They get stuck a little in the middle. 
And Scott comes out ahead. And Kyle has been dropped. Scott going for a pin. His arm literally through Kyle's leg. A strong pin. And a giant power bomb. And another huge power bomb. Scott just showing off. Kyle manages to get a reversal. Showing he's not done. Gets him in a bear hug. Oh, and a giant suplex out of it. Right now, both these men are just showing off their brute strength. Kyle even with a headbutt. He's going to the top rope. He's calling for him, wants Scott up, wants him in position. Huge clothesline off the top rope. And Kyle is building momentum, but Scott is quick back up on his feet. <laughs> Chat, Scott continues to insist he has never worn jorts, outright lies. If he's never worn jorts, then why does he seem so comfortable in why does it make all the sense in the world to see him in this outfit? They're outside the ring. Kyle and Garrett were the victims of a countout. One of the only countout victories that have happened in this league. They know the dangers getting trapped out there for too long. Scott just showing off that strength. Both these men have been doing that today. And Scott showing off. And uh, Kyle is not going to have any of that. Kyle was up much quicker than Scott thought. And uh, again, lessons learned. Kyle is quick to get back in the ring. Big punches and kicks. Kyle waiting for him. And ready to deal out some damage as soon as he gets in the ring. Now taking it to his knee. The jorts do not provide good protection for the knees. We're going to see if Scott taps. Will Scott tap to this? He Nope, he reverses it. Overpowers him. Again, both competitors just showing how strong they can be. Scott's got Kyle up. Big spin. This could be it. Kyle kicks out. Scott can't believe it. He can't believe Kyle kicked out of that. And he's going to make him pay. Him up. Oh my gosh. And that might be enough. I don't know how Kyle kicks out of this one. He does though. He does. The heart. The heart behind Kyle. He is not giving up. And he goes outside the ring to buy some time. But Scott is right there ready for him. And he follows him out. Scott is just ruthless. He's not giving Kyle a moment to breathe. And Scott keeping an eye. He's going to go for his finisher again. He's got him up. Here comes the airplane spin Scott is so known for. He nails it. Two in a row. I don't know that Kyle, even with that. He does. Three. Three kickouts. And I don't know what is going to keep Kyle down at this point. I don't think Scott knows either. But Kyle is hurting bad. And he catches Scott. Kyle might turn the tables on him right here. He catches him on a high risk move. There it is. The nat 20. Kyle's finishing kick. Scott kicks out of it though. 
And Kyle is getting hyped up. He's got the crowd behind him. He's over the top and on him. That's finding any which way to topple the competition. Hurling your own body like that is insane. Kyle picks him up. Huge drop. He's got to beat him inside the ring. Throws him into the turnbuckle. Kyle getting back in the ring. And I cannot believe what Kyle has withstood in this match. And he's telling Scott, I want more. Scott playing possum a little bit. Lures him back out and drops Kyle right on his face. I think Kyle's bleeding. I think that cut Kyle open. Kyle's waiting for him though. Series of clotheslines. Another huge clothesline. Kyle's gone to the corner. He's calling for it again. Here it comes. The Nat 20. Scott kicks out. Kyle has hit Scott twice with the Nat 20. And Scott has continued to kick out. This is an insane match, ladies and gentlemen. And you have to think, even if Kyle wins, he's still got to go through the Royal Rumble later tonight. He's got a lot to do. A lot is on the line for him. And terrible stomps to Scott's chest. He's getting him up again. He goes for another nat 20, but Scott's laying him wait. He reverses it. Scott's got him up for his finisher. I haven't named it. It doesn't sound as cool, and it does involve him spinning him around a bunch. The ultimate spin. It, it's long. It's real long. <laughs> and drops him. Scott goes for a pin. This is the third time he's hit it on Kyle, and Kyle still manages to kick out. And Kyle kips up. He says, not only am I not down, I am far from out. And Scott has to be wondering, how do you keep Kyle down at this point? right on his face and Scott is declaring it over he is ready for him huge kick and I don't know how Kyle is still fighting through this but he gets a reversal and Kyle just deadlifts him I don't think Scott knows where he is. He's just trying to get out of the ring. Oh. And no matter what happens, Kyle making sure Scott is going to feel it. Now focusing on that arm, both of these guys... There's just no quit in him. Oh man, meeting the barricade. Uh oh, draped across the barricade. I do not Pick like Scott up. Him. Scott's hanging off the barricade, knees him in the head. Kyle back in the ring, gets out to reset the count. He wants to deal more damage. Kyle wants to secure this. He knows. He knows Scott is not going to stay down for no reason. It's going to take a lot. Scott with a reversal. Kyle staggered. They're still fighting outside of the ring. Count up to three. Kyle dodges and a clothesline. And they are still going at it outside of the ring. Kyle declaring victory. 
And Kyle picks Scott up and just tosses him like a baby. Kyle gloating. Scott gets him from behind, but Kyle's waiting for it. The count is at seven. Scott back in the ring. Kyle back in the ring. Kyle waiting for him. Off the top. Nails him. And he goes for a pin. Kyle thinks he has it. And he does. He does. Bloody beaten. Kyle manages a victory here against Scott. Securing the coveted number 10 spot for the Royal Rumble. But you got to think. He has been through hell and back, even coming in last. Will Kyle be able to win the Rumble later today? What a start to the show, everybody. That was crazy good. What a match. I don't believe it. I've been robbed. I've been robbed of my position. Let's do the payout for that. More people were voting for Kyle. More points behind Kyle. We got some happy people today, but definitely some losers. It was close to 50-50. Kyle won that. And we are going to get our next match set up. But my goodness, what a start to this match this evening. These matches. All right. Up next... We have our Extreme Rules Women's Triple Threat Match. Getting that set up right now. Let's get the prediction all set up here. All right, let's start our prediction for the next match. We'll go. All right, this is it. Our next match, it is an extreme rules match. A triple threat match between Monica Stone of the Mod Syndicate, Dearest Martha from uh, Core, and Big Bad Kristen Ashton repping GG. Uh, currently undefeated Kristen, I should say. <laughs> Before I vote, I need to know what pants Monica is winning, wearing. She's wearing the same pants. That everybody agreed last week were awesome pants. Except for her. She's the only person who didn't like the pants. But yes, yeah, she's wearing the same pants. <laughs> you know, everybody blamed the pants for the loss. But I'm telling you, if she had won, it would have been the pants too. All right, here we go. Second match of the night. Our triple threat match. Ten Lobster, thank you for the gifted subs. Five gifted subs. Congrats to Selmy, Left Hand Heathen, Kinetics, 
uh, Barkin and Adamantic. So far, we have had uh, most of these competitors have fought each other. Um, Kristen came out ahead in her battle with Martha. She came out ahead in her battle with Kristen. Uh, or I'm sorry, Kristen came out ahead in her battle with Monica. Um, we've also had Martha successful against Becky Lynch. Ousted her last week. She gets cool pants. Her pants are just pants, you know? They're just pants. You're the first person to comment on her pants. Everybody has commented on yours. So, you know, in the world... In the world of pants, your pants are more notorious. I think that's a good thing in the wrestling arena. I forgot to listen for it again. I swear that the entrance for Monica is the Wickedy Kitty Stone. I think my brain just fills in Wicked Kitten. And I haven't gotten to hear what I think is one of the funnier, like, how I made it work entrances, which is the Wickedy Kitty. Victoria's pants has some kind of ring to it. I, you know what? You know, it's frog pants. I would comes. say anything with an emphasis on pants is good. Now coming to the ring, Kristen Ashton currently undefeated. Will she continue her undefeated streak? He's the Nia Jax of Frog. Who, Kristen? She hasn't hurt, actually hurt anybody, though. This is a match she has long been asking for. She is more than ready to compete tonight. She is a powerhouse, for sure. All right, we're going to see what the three of them can do in an Extreme Rules match. And it looks like Kristen and Monica going after each other right away, and we're seeing some double teaming going on. Cooperation. Oh, that fell apart almost immediately. Cooperation lasted all of one second. And uh, you can definitely tell already, no uh, love lost here. All of them going right after each other. In fact, Monica's so eager to throw an attack, wasn't even past uh, Martha breaking up a, a hold. Absolutely not, she says. Keep in mind, first person to score a pinfall or a submission is going to be the winner. So there is actually some strategy to interrupting submission moves or pins. And uh, Martha getting a table while Kristen deals out some damage in the ring. Uh-oh. 
Martha back in the ring, going after Kristen. Now Monica going after Martha. And uh, Monica has grabbed a chair. Meanwhile, Kristen is clearing off the announce table. They both have clearly dark intentions, and Martha, maybe smartly, just decides to watch. Not wanting to mess with either, Kristen doesn't realize Monica's gotten back up. She hits her in the back of the head with a chair. Another chair shot, and Kristen got caught showboating. Maybe that undefeated streak causing a little too much confidence. Martha wanting to get in the scrum, but not finding a good opportunity until just now. And Martha definitely playing the opportunist. Don't know where she learned that from. Uh, biding her time, waiting. Picking her moment to strike, and now taking it to both of them. She's literally thrown both of those human beings into one human being, and, you know, that's pretty brutal. Martha got to be feeling confident after winning against Becky Lynch last week. But Monica stopping her, killing the momentum. Kristen taking a, a breather on the uh, side there. Letting her opponent know she is Monica with a little showboating of her own does not get uh, caught doing it. Although Kristen doing it again, lesson not learned. She gets away with it and Martha ignores it. You would think Martha would respect the undefeated streak, but she came to and just sort of ignored her. A, a damn baseball bat. Monica comes in with a baseball bat. Oh, we got more cooperation between Kristen and Martha again. Once again, it doesn't last. They're immediately after each other. I would not expect any allies to form out this. Oh my God. And Monica watches it all with a bat and is just ready to go. Uh, Monica looks like she's playing a different sport and the sport is baseball. And uh, apparently she does not have enough weapons because Monica has decided to go get a chair. Kristen showing off her strength. Oh, and a brutal chair assault. Once again, Monica picking a great time to come in with a weapon and Martha picking a terrible time to showboat. Luckily, all she got was thrown back in the ring. Kristen and Monica now fighting outside. Martha's headed back out as well. And they are just trading blows at this point. Big slam right by the stairs. Martha continuing to mock the other competitors. Misses with a little punch. Monica's a little too busy fighting Kristen. Kristen knocked out. Martha continues to showboat. Right now, we got three competitors that are definitely interested in showboating, maybe more than fighting each other. Monica with Kristen in the ring. Kristen's got Monica up, drops her. That could be it. Martha's busy looking for weapons, but she does get in the ring. She drops it and breaks up the count. Kristen pays her back. Kristen dealing out a lot of damage. She's got Monica up again. Monica manages to escape and reverse it. Martha's up, and now Monica's going after Martha. And I think it's the sharpshooter. Kristen comes in to prevent Martha from tapping, which would, co which would cost her a match. And 
And Kristen, not worried about a thing, although maybe she should have been. Martha catches her. Once again, catches her showboating. Monica's out outside of the ring, and Kristen manages to kick out. Martha not happy about that at all. But Kristen only seemed to have enough energy to kick out, not enough to put back uh, much of an offense. And now she is once again at the mercy of Martha. Monica maybe buying her a little bit of time. The referee very much in the way. And Martha is currently in control. Kristen out. Martha going for a pin. Monica manages to kick out. Martha has had two near pinfalls. And Kristen coming in for a, a side attack. Martha expects it and avoids it. Right now, they both seem to be picking a fight over who's going to get Kristen, but Martha with a sudden pin. They're right in front of Kristen, but she's out. Martha with a victory. Kristen came to just a second too late. Let's take another look at these ladies going toe to toe. And you can see it right there. Kristen knocked out, not ready, and just as the ref hits three, became aware of what was happening and tried to interrupt it. Kristen still yet to be pinned in this league, but the end of her undefeated streak, at least to some degree. Let's take a look here. The numbers were definitely behind Kristen. A lot of people thought that was going to continue. The points were backing her. You might consider it an upset, uh, but that's the way it went. Went in favor of Martha this time. <laughs> and everybody's blaming the pants. Everybody says it's the pants. We'll have to see. Maybe we'll give Monica new pants and see what happens. You never know. All right. Let's get set up for the next match. It's going to be our main event. It's going to be a big one. It's going to take me a little bit to set it up. Honestly, for the VOD, we might cut this out because... I got a lot I got to do real quick here. Here we go. Prediction is live. Get your votes in. Lots of options. We will go to this now. Ladies and gentlemen, we are here. It is our main event, the Royal Rumble match. For those of you who do not know, the Royal Rumble match is simple. It will start with two competitors in the ring. Every 60 seconds, a new entrant will come down to the ring. An entrant is eliminated only when they are knocked over the top rope and both feet land on the floor outside the ring, in which case they are out and will have to head to the back. The last person remaining in the ring is the winner and this is for number one contendership of the Frog Pants Championship title to be decided in a match next week. The positioning on when people come out is 100% random with one exception, that being Kyle, who in our first match tonight earned the number 10 spot. John is now back in a random position. Who knows when he'll be coming out. With all that said and out of the way, let's get into it. Let's see it. The Royal Rumble match. I also think that they will announce this. They will say it. You will have to hear this again, roughly. But uh, it also glitched on one of the times I looked at it. So who knows? The following contest. Is John tall enough to put anyone over the top rope? I don't know, man. Probably not in reality, but John in this game's pretty fit. 
All right, our first entrant, unlucky number one. It would have been Kyle. This time, it's Ben. Now it's it's been done. Some people have gone from number one all the way to the end. This is a smaller rumble than the traditional Royal Rumble, so it's not as many people that Ben has to go through. Uh, but it's definitely going to be tough. He is going to be in the ring the longest out of anyone if he goes all the way to the end. Can Ben do this? And right now, nobody is backing Ben. Uh, nobody backing Tom either, which I think is maybe a mistake. Uh, seems like the big points are behind Bo, Brian Dunaway, and Kyle. Smart points behind Kyle. We know his position. It's a smart bet. Let's see who's coming in at number two. Coming in, number two, Brian Dunaway, Super Dunaway, coming to the ring. He's got energy. He's got power. He's been on a hot streak. There is no denying that Brian Dunaway has gone from the underdog of the league to a powerhouse. Dunaway is ready to go. We will have to see what happens here. From the many. And the match is kicking off proper. Ben versus Dunaway. Every minute a new competitor and Ben is not in the mood to mess around. He is going on the offensive immediately. Uh, I'll tell you who won the test rumbles after this. This will be, that'll be a bonus at the end of the show. Oh, Dunaway over the top rope. Ben goes to knock him out, but Dunaway successfully reverses. We almost had our first elimination, and Brian Dunaway plants Ben right on his face. Ben still trying to get him over the ropes. He's going for it. Nope, Dunaway with another reversal and chops him down. We have another competitor. Five, four, three. Huge move by Dunaway while we're waiting for our next competitor. Who is Bo? Bo coming to the ring. A lot of support for Bo. A lot of people think he can do it. Bo has definitely been a top contender. I believe on pure wins and losses, Bo is currently number three on the win-loss ratio for the board. So a smart choice. But he is showboating a little early, and Dunaway makes him pay. A huge maneuver from Bo. It's Ben up. See if he's going to try and throw him out. Remember, that's what it's all about, is throwing your opponent over that top rope and onto the floor. Pinfalls, submissions, they don't do anything but damage in this match. And another competitor coming down to the ring. Who will be next? Garrett, entrant number four. Garrett coming down to the ring right now. So far, we haven't seen anybody thrown out yet. Garrett is in the ring. Dunaway greets him with a big kick, but I don't think he got all of them, and Garrett punches him for the trouble. It looks like Ben's trying to get Garrett out early. And right now, Ben is running over the top of everybody. 
Ben lifting Dunaway up, a huge choke slam. And Ben is dominating in the ring. You can tell he wants this. He is putting a hurt on everybody. And Bo says, go ahead, hurt him. Doesn't matter to me. Huge power bomb into the corner. And it taint no thing. Bo with a taint no thing in the corner. Merritt getting a good reversal on Ben. And Tom Merritt making his way to the ring. Entrant number five, already half the entrance in the ring. Tom Merritt immediately makes his uh, makes himself known <laughs> and showing that he's got the brains for this. Tom Merritt knows that a battle is won not just with muscle but with mind, and uh, Ben and Garrett have something to say about that. Right now, plenty of punishment being uh, dealt. Nobody having been eliminated. Ben just brutalizing Bo. Knocks him down. Tom Merritt sneaks in on Ben. Brian Dunaway reverses it. Garrett gets slammed. Here comes entrant number six. And it's Randy Jordan, the butcher himself. Taint no thing on Tom Merritt just as Randy gets to the ring and Randy going right after Ben. Ben gets stuck on Tom Merritt. Bo thrown over the ring, I think by Brian Dunaway. He's been eliminated, so has Dunaway. Tom Merritt has eliminated Brian Dunaway. I didn't see who got Bo. I think it might have been Dunaway. And we have just out of nowhere had two eliminations. Bo and Brian immediately thrown out back to back. I told you all not to discount Tom Merritt. You didn't believe me. And I will say now, Brian Dunaway was the winner of the two test rumbles when I was experimenting with everything. He won both of them. Brian Ibbett coming down to the ring. And now we're starting to see what teammates are going to do. Will they work together? Will they fight? Only one can win. So you got to be out for yourself at some point. But will we see any cooperation? <clears throat> and Randy just going to town on everybody. Tom Merritt with a huge neck breaker. Ben taking a moment to gloat might cost him. Gets caught by Tom Merritt who is now trying to eliminate him. Brian Ibbett just taking a breather watching it all happen. Garrett catches him with a reversal. And here comes John. He was going to be... Oh, Brian Ibbett. Garrett eliminates Brian Ibbett as John's headed to the ring. John lost two spaces due to Kyle's match earlier. He's still showing up late in the match. Tom Merritt going to try to eliminate Randy, it looks like. He goes for it. Randy reverses, but Tom Merritt catches him, and Randy has been eliminated. Ben, meanwhile, trying to throw out his friend, John. He gets him over the top rope. He's trying to kick him out of the ring. John reverses it, gets back in. We are down to four. Oh, 
Oh, right now, everybody is just slamming each other. Tanner Goodman coming in, spot number nine. That means we know who the rest are. Kyle's gonna be coming in at number 10. You gotta wonder what that's gonna do for Garrett. Will they work together? And going for another elimination on John. John wobbling, he starts to go over the top. He's trying to get in through the bottom ropes. He manages to reverse again. John stays in the match a little longer. Now John going after Ben. Ben baits him into, a, into it. Gets him in a headlock. Punches him in the head. John's gonna take a knee. Tanner trying to eliminate Garrett. It would certainly be a strong showing. He does! Tanner immediately manages it. And Tom Merritt gets thrown out at the same time. We are down to John, Ben, and John and Ben working together to try and eliminate Tanner, but he manages to reverse it from both of them. Kyle coming to the ring in three seconds. John nearly knocked out. He's wobbling. He's hanging in there. He punches him back. John just barely manages to get back in the ring. Tanner nearly eliminated him. And Kyle in his second fight of the night. John once again barely hanging on. Kyle comes in. He goes after Ben immediately. And John is just being hurt. Tanner just hurting him. One of these four men will challenge for the Frog Pants title next week. Tanner lifts John up, power bombs him, not quite out of the ring, but he does do the damage. And Kyle might have just inadvertently saved John. John thanks him with a punch to the face and showboats a little. Kyle's going to show him what he thinks of that. It's John up, a huge slam. Oh, you can tell he's feeling it. Kyle fighting back against Tanner. Ben going after him. Right now, we've seen a, a strange amount of cooperation between John and Ben. Uh, it's being pointed out in the chat. It's uh, These two have a history, podcasters together. Uh, Oddly enough, Tanner gave them their start on Arcanum of Azeroth, a show he did that would go on to become Azeroth Roundtable with Ben and John. So a lot of podcasting history in the ring. And John eliminates Tanner. Tanner has been eliminated. It is down to John, Ben, and Kyle. And Ben slamming both of them in the face. John sits back to watch. Ben looks like he's going to try and eliminate Kyle. Nope, he just throws him into a turnbuckle. John, <laughs> John just dives onto his back, gets hurt. Now he's pretending to crawl to the ring. I don't know what John's doing. Maybe his strategy is to just get a breather. Kyle going for an elimination on Ben, nearly got him over. John decides now would be a good time to get involved. Nope, he just watches. He just watches. He's choosing between Ben and Kyle on who to attack. He ends up going after Kyle, but Ben says, nope, I'm going after Kyle. And then tries to go after John. John going after Ben. Throws Ben up over the ring, goes for an elimination, but Kyle manages to save him. John gets Ben up. Now John going to work on Ben. You thought they were colluding. Well, opportunity, opportunity struck and John is going for it. Kyle more than happy to watch John struggle to eliminate Ben. Will he get it? Ben says no, punches him in the head, and Kyle is in there to fight, but John kicks right back up. Kyle well, now going after John. Lance him. 
Kyle has control of the ring. What is he going to do with it? Is he going for an elimination? He gets John into the corner. There's a big clothesline. Gives Ben a chance to recover, though. Ben now fighting back. Ben picks Kyle up, slams him down, not over the ropes. Ben now in control. Oh, my gosh, a natural 20 on Ben. That's a nat 20. Kyle gets it. Throws him into the turnbuckle. Now Kyle trying to eliminate Ben. John watching. Let's it happen, but decides to go after Kyle when he sees an opening. And if he thought that was going to buy any forgiveness with Ben, he was wrong. As Ben has now picked him up and there's a slam on John. Kyle left the only man standing at the moment. Big punches. Kyle mocking him. At the end of the day, though, it's about getting someone eliminated. Kyle going for that elimination. John taking the moment to watch. Taking that precious moment to recover. Ben going over the top. Ben has been eliminated. We are down to John and Kyle. It is just the two of them. And Kyle is quick to turn the tables and go right back after John. Big punches. There's a reversal. John with a punch to Kyle. Lifts him up and drops him. And John acting like he smells victory. And you got to give it to Kyle. He has had an entire match already. John dragging him to the ropes. He goes for a super kick and gets it. A lot of good action in that one. Well, ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> the best outcome that could have possibly occurred has just happened. What do I hear? I hear victory. And what does this mean for next week? John already the Dragon Beef Champion now has a shot at Scott Johnson's Frog Pants Championship, but they're both in core. What's he going to do? How is it going to go? We are going to have to find out next week.